Hey everyone, this is uh, Clint Butler here with another SEO tool, and this one's called Wiki Grabber. It's over on webfx.com under tools. Uh, I'll drop the link in the description for you. Uh, so what does it do? Well, Wikipedia obviously is, is a good source for information. It's good for citations. It's good for same as in your schema when you're working with entities, etc. So now, uh, with that, though, there is, you know, opportunity for link building in there. There's opportunity to um, highlight your brand in there if you're a trusted editor, etc. Now, I am not a trusted editor by any means. As a matter of fact, I, I mean, the account that I had in there, I don't even use. And then um, I just never really took the time to learn the editing process of Wikipedia space. And I have a ass ton of my own work to do, so... Um, you're, you're probably good. If you're going to use this to get links in Wikipedia, then you probably should find a trusted person who's got a good editor account and can drop those links in the appropriate way for you versus doing it yourself. Because if you do it yourself, nine times out of ten, they're just going to get deleted. I mean, I even know a couple people that are, you know, diehard Wikipedia people and their accounts, their their edits tend to get deleted too. Uh, for one reason or another, depending on the market, the space. So um, with that being said, there are still some good uses for this tool. Uh, and I'll show you one, and that's um, a broken backlink building kind of in Wikipedia. If you want to go this route, it, this route is really, really, I mean, it's 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 hard. Um, and there, there's much better ways to do it, but let's say you're doing some research and you need, um, you need something on, I don't know, um, let's, let's pick something. Um, let's do roofing. Let's say you're in local and you're doing some research on roofing, for example. So we're going to search, just type in roofing for your keywords and let it go. And you're going to get these missing citations and dead links and then show all. And the missing site, hover over this because sometimes there's actually like URLs to websites and we don't want the websites. We want the uh, list from Wikipedia, the actual Wikipedia pages. So hover it over it and make sure in the bottom right, left hand corner of your screen, your browser, it's actually going to Wikipedia. So you're not wasting your time, but we're going to look at citation needed. We'll look at this roofing one and you see it's pretty empty. Um, so if we, if we knew what we were doing, then maybe we could map this all out. But let's go to roof, for example, and we'll click on that. Now we have roof. What is a roof design, blah, blah, blah. You would probably have roof inside of your same as schema or about mention schema if you're doing a roofing site. So the next step is to go over here. You're already over here. You're already reading some of this information. He says the article needs, let me close that for a second so you can read it. The article needs citations for verification. You can actually go in here and, and check out some of this stuff. And let's say parts of the roof, this section, you needed more information. You could actually create a really decent article about the parts of a roof. Um, and then uh, look in here and see like how, how, where you could get better citations, where you can create better citations. Here's a good example. A slate roof may last 75 to 100 years. Where is that research? You can go co you know, collect all that research, put it into an article, and then have an editor add a citation for you uh, that addresses that. And, and those those facts, things of facts. So you come in here, you you see a fact. There's no basis for that fact. There's no citation for that fact. So is it a fact? And if it is, go research it, put it all together, and put it in a nice post on your roofing website, for example, and then get an editor to add that as a citation. Or if you got a decent enough account, do it yourself. Okay. Um, but you want to click on this on SEO Minion paid tool, but SEO Minion is good. I'll maybe talk about this later, but click on it and it'll go through and check. Um, turn off redirects. You don't care about redirects. And then you want to see these. And what we're looking for is essentially domains that are busted, that are a hot mess. So we're going to let that run. And it's going to check 733 links. So there's obviously a lot of links on this page. And I won't 
bore you waiting. I already did it over here in this bread financial one. And you get this list that looks like this. Typically, you're looking for no domains. If it's a subdomain, don't even bother. Um, typically, it, it probably was deleted. And you see this is a no domain one. So we would click on that and it would take us there. I don't care about this. I want to go see if the actual home domain is there. So that's not working. So, and then you just take that to Namecheap or wherever you buy domains and see if it's available or not. It's really the, how easy it is. Uh, and you see this list. It's no domain, no domain. Like we click on this, check it. The site's still there. Obviously, it's not a, you know, a domain that we could pick up. And the reason you're doing this is you just get already links from Wikipedia. So you buy that domain, you can actually recreate the URL. Let's say, for example, Payments News was down. We just create, recreate the URL, go to um, Web Archives, see what was on that page, download that, and then rewrite that article with ChatGPT so you're not using someone else's content. Probably not a big deal, but you don't want to do that. Um, and then you can write that, get that link or even better buy that domain, put a, a index page on the homepage and then set up a redirect from, for this URL right here to the piece of content that's on, that is on your webpage. So you have that domain up, the homepage is up with nothing. And then you can redirect that specific page to, um, to, um, to your website. And now you have a backlink from Wikipedia through uh, via 301. Um, and you didn't have to work at it. And it cost you 15 bucks versus however much editors are charging nowadays, two, 300 bucks, depending on the pages and all that stuff and who they are. Let's go back to the roof and see how we're doing. 143, <laughs> still going slow. There's obviously nothing here. Um, but we just, you know, you just let that run and go. Uh, and that will um, definitely help you out. See, there's empty links and redirects. Let's click. Um, empty links isn't showing. There's some of the redirects that are up. We know these are all working. They're all wiki links. So I'll shut that down. I don't really care about those. Empty links would be interesting to see, but you can't see them on the list for some reason. Maybe it's valid. Let's do that. Valid, 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 valid. There's a lot of internal linking in Wikipedia to UK and like other countries. That's weird. I don't see the point of doing that. Maybe that's somewhere down here in the languages or something I'm missing. Uh, Google search. That's interesting. Like you could possibly find those and then go to your editor and say, look, there's Google search links for roofing. It doesn't make any sense. I have a better piece of content. Can you replace my link um, for those Google search terms? Um, you can find those. You have, probably have to go through the search source code to do that. But again, this is, it's a pretty cool tool. Uh, it's free. Uh, WebFX.com tools forward slash wiki grabber. I'll leave the link in the description for you and you can check it out. Just add it to your tool set. Um, and then maybe one of these videos, I'll go over SEO minion. Um, well, as a matter of fact, I mean, I don't really need to, right? Right. So you just open it up and, and you're already here. You're already surfing uh, these pages, um, probably on a lot of good sites. So it's not going to hurt you. And you just take a little time to click on check broken backlinks and run that thing. Uh, in particular, if it's not Wikipedia, I mean, these pages, this flies fast. So here's one, mywholesomehome.com. Let's see what we got. There's going to be nothing. I'm going to copy this. Uh, put it in here. I just want this. And... Uh, then we'll go to namecheap.com. It's probably good because it's spinning and just didn't give us a thing of death. But my wholesome home. Yeah, it's avail not available. Uh, registered in 21. So, I mean, it's not a foolproof thing. It's not a, this is not a thing that you want to, you know, make your number one link building method 
But, I mean, if you get three or four of these from Wikipedia to the page, it's not a bad, not a bad deal. And certainly a lot cheaper and a little bit less work uh, than doing that year, than buying them, you know, and, or trying to get an editor to do this. Same with uh, regular sites. Um, I don't know. Let's, what do we, what do we put, how to install a roof? Let's do that. And Family Handyman, that's a, you know, it's a decent enough site. We open up Minion, check for broken links, 206. Wow, there's a lot of links in there. Um, you can see they got, yeah, they got links going on here. I don't see much citation and stuff. Um, but you never know, you might get lucky. Uh, redirect, redirect. I'll shut those off. We don't really want redirects. Because we're doing expired domains, right? I'll let that go um, for a bit. And then you can run those in. So um, let's say you're doing local. Um, you can go find other roofers in your area, for example, go to their blog pages and then do this with their blog pages. You can also do this with um, the crawlers. It'll check external links and see if uh, and give you the uh, error codes, et cetera. And then you have another way to do it. But this is I mean, if you're doing competition research, for example, uh, for a client on a specific topic and let's say. I don't know, you're you're trying to write a blog post about how to roof a house, for example, and then you look at 10, 20 different versions and you find three or four that are linking to expired domains. Um, now you got to jump because they already created that con content. It's ranking already, otherwise you wouldn't be looking at it. And now you, and you buy those expired domains and you got backlinks from essentially your competition in that term. Uh, and that page works now, so when... They're they're reviewing their own websites and looking for broken backlinks. Um, they don't find that thing because you bought it, fixed it, and redirected that URL to your to your website. So now it's not a broken backlink; it's a working backlink. So there you go. Wiki Grabber and broken backlink building all in one. Hope you enjoy the video. See you next time.